Hello everybody, welcome back to DD60, Daily Dictation 60. I know DD59 was really difficult, so I will give you the answers in a minute. And don't worry, DD60 hopefully will be much easier. So, let's go back to DD59 about the ice and the Titanic. Oh, very, very difficult. This iceberg here, there's outcroppings under the water and uh, sea, sea ice, iceberg ice is very hard. So it's uh, almost like, it could be almost like a can opener. And when the, probably the Titanic went by it, it just sliced the hole in it like you would with a manual can opener. Yes, a couple of key words. Let me read the answers to you first. This iceberg here, there's outcroppings under the water. And uh, sea ice, iceberg ice, is very hard. So it's almost like, it could almost be like a can opener. And when probably the Titanic went by it, it just sliced a hole in it like you would with a manual can opener. <laughs> okay, so some key words here. Outcroppings, can opener, and manual. Those were the most difficult words. But after we study the lesson, it will be much easier to hear. So let's go back to the first sentence. This iceberg here, this iceberg, so this iceberg here, the man is pointing to an iceberg. That, this iceberg here, that over there, that iceberg here, there's outcroppings under the water. So if we think about an iceberg, an iceberg, there's, here's the water, the water's right here, and here's a little top at the top, it's like a little mountain. And then under the water, it's also maybe like a diamond shape. So under the water, it's like that. But it's not perfectly smooth. It's not smooth. Over here, there's boop and doop, doop. Some pieces of ice, shoop, shoop, they come out. These are called outcroppings. So a very smooth mountain, a very smooth mountain sometimes has stones that stick out and those are called outcroppings outcroppings it's one word an outcropping plural outcroppings so icebergs they look smooth like little mountains but there are outcroppings okay this iceberg here there's outcroppings under the water you don't see them. They're under the water. And uh, sea ice, sea ice, iceberg ice is very hard. So I guess, I don't know, perhaps sea ice is harder than the ice we use in our cola or in our orange juice or wherever you use ice. Sea ice is very, very hard. So it's almost like, it's almost like, it could almost be like a can opener. The outcropping is so hard, it's almost like a can opener. You know, you have a can and you use something to open it. I have a can opener. Wait. Yes. This is my can opener. I put a can here. And then I turn it like this. I turn this crank here. Can you see that? Yeah. And then the can opens. But 
he doesn't mean this type of can opener, no. He actually means something more like a, a Swiss army knife. Yes. Now, if you look at the Swiss army knife, all those little things come out. Those are outcroppings, outcroppings of the Swiss army knife. And, and this is the can opener, okay? It comes out of the knife, it's an outcropping, and it sticks out, it's very hard, and you put this into a can, there you go, and then when it's in the can, you, you grab the can and you, you have to crank it, you have to do this and twist the can, it's very manual, and eventually, it opens. You can open the can. This guy did a bad job. I'm much better. Well, I used to be. Now I have a nice can opener. So this was, so this ice, this iceberg, and, and there's a little outcropping of ice. The outcropping of ice is like, almost like a can opener. Okay? And when probably but he doesn't say probably, he says probably. Very typical pronunciation, probably. And when probably the Titanic went by, and the iceberg is here, the iceberg, yeah, but went by it, what's it? The iceberg. It refers to the iceberg. It What's it? It, the iceberg, but especially the outcropping, it just sliced, shack, sliced, cut a hole. It sliced a hole in it. It cut a hole in it, like a can opener. Like you would with a manual can opener. That's it. Wow, it's, it's actually really easy. Yeah, I know, but the dictation, very difficult. Key words, outcroppings. Outcroppings, probably a new word for most of you. Check your dictionary, outcroppings. It refers usually on top of land, but in this case, under the water. Can opener. And now you guys know can opener and manual. Now, so many students heard a nine-year-old can opener. A nine-year-old can opener. Actually, I, yeah, if I listen, oh, yes, it sounds similar to a nine-year-old can opener. But it's not nine-year-old, it's manual, manual. Manual can opener. So listen again and you'll catch it. Let's let's practice. This iceberg here, there's outcroppings under the water. And uh, see sea ice, iceberg ice, is very hard. So it's almost like it could almost be like a can opener. And when probably the Titanic went by it, it just sliced a hole in it like you would with a manual can opener. Don't forget about connections, connecting sounds. This iceberg here, there's outcroppings under the water. And uh, sea ice, sea, sea ice, iceberg, ice is very hard. So it's almost like, so it's almost like it could almost be like, the tea's going to be weak, almost be like a can opener, can opener. And when probably the Titanic went by it, it just sliced, it just sliced a, sliced a hole in it, hole in it, hole in it, sliced a hole in it. Like you would with a, with a manual can opener. Okay? All right, I want you guys to listen two more times, and I guarantee it will be much easier. Then we move on to DD60. This iceberg here, 
there's outcroppings under the water and uh, sea, sea ice, iceberg ice is very hard. So it's uh, almost like, it could be almost like a can opener. And when the, probably the Titanic went by it, it just sliced the hole in it like you would with a manual can opener. This iceberg here, there's outcroppings under the water and uh, sea, sea ice, iceberg ice is very hard. So it's uh, almost like, it could be almost like a can opener. And when the, probably the Titanic went by it, it just sliced the hole in it like you would with a manual can opener. Okay, it is time for DD60. And this is the winter season in the Northern Hemisphere. If you're down in Australia, or perhaps in New Zealand, uh, in those, the Southern Hemisphere, South Africa, where else are my listeners? Maybe Indonesia. It's actually summertime. I'm sorry. Yes, summertime. But in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter. But what about in places like Saudi Arabia, India, Libya? Actually, I saw on the news that Today, I think it was today, there was actually snow in Libya. I saw last month in Morocco there was snow. So my question, do you get snow in your neighborhood? Where do you live? And I'm thinking like Saudi Arabia, Egypt, does it snow there? Oh, I'm, I'm curious. Snow is great. It's beautiful. It's lots of fun. But... If you just have a little bit of snow, it's you can't do anything. But if you have a lot of snow, then you can do many things. And one popular thing is dog sledding. Dog sledding. That's this. It's very famous uh, by the Eskimos. And a lot of people like racing with dog sledding. There's a very famous dog sled race in Alaska and other places too. So you've got the dogs, you've got the sled. The sled is also called a toboggan. Toboggan. And now you guys can do the dictation. Listen carefully to this story about a woman who's visiting the state of Vermont in America, one of America's 50 states, and she is about to experience dog sledding. It's snowing, it's beautiful, we're out in the middle of nowhere, I'm freezing, and I'm about to be pulled by eight dogs in a toboggan. Um, really, it doesn't get much more Vermont than this. It's snowing, it's beautiful, we're out in the middle of nowhere, I'm freezing, and I'm about to be pulled by eight dogs in a toboggan. Um, really, it doesn't get much more Vermont than this. It's snowing, it's beautiful, we're out in the middle of nowhere, I'm freezing, and I'm about to be pulled by eight dogs in a toboggan. Um, really, it doesn't get much more Vermont than this. It's snowing, it's beautiful, we're out in the middle of nowhere, I'm freezing, and I'm about to be pulled by eight dogs in a toboggan. Um, really, it doesn't get much more Vermont than this. Okay, let me take this time to say welcome to our new channel subscribers. From Vietnam, we have VN Love. VN Love, aka also known as Search and Share. This guy has a Facebook. Uh, page also search and share some very interesting videos VN love thank you for joining do you get snow in Vietnam I cannot imagine you get snow in Vietnam how cold 
does it get in Vietnam, I wonder. Then, near Vin, uh, India, we have uh, Abhayak Singh. Abhayak Singh, is that correct? I hope I pronounced that correct. From India! Nice to meet you from India. Now, I know it snows in northern India. Northern India, I'm sure it snows. Where in India are you from? Then, oh, also near India, originally from Kathmandu in Nepal, Bond 007-870. Bond 007-870 from living now in Saudi Arabia. How do you like that? I imagine uh, Nepal and Saudi Arabia are quite different, are they not? The geography from the mountains to the desert, do you like the change? Welcome to my channel. And finally, from South Korea, the duty 9395. The duty. Welcome, duty, to my channel. Thank you to everybody for watching my videos. And please tell your friends. Let's make the channel bigger and better. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.